the Chinese Liberation Army donated two naval ships to the Namibian Defense Force in 2014 and also refurbished in China. They then made a 27-day journey, which started on 10th June to July 6th this year. The offshore patrol ships are commissioned at a time that the Sadek region is faced with illegal fishing activities in its waters and other threats along its vast coastlines. It is therefore of paramount importance that we continue to increase our naval capabilities. Our Navy must be responsive to the challenges of maritime responsibility and our officers must at all times be ready to defend and protect Namibia's territorial waters and harbors, which are not only valuable assets to Namibia, but the Sadek region as a whole. The commissioning coincided with the Navy's 13th anniversary since transforming from a wing to service level in 2004. This has increased the number of new recruits within the Defence Force. The maritime or the blue economy, President Gengob says, is a major contributor to job creation and the country's overall economic growth. I would also like to challenge our Defence Minister, Chief of Defence and our service commanders to develop innovative proposals for the funding of our military. For 13 years, our patrols have been taking place from the Orange River to the Kunene River, and our presence has been felt from the coast baseline to the 200 nautical mile EEZ cut line. The two submarine chasers, Daures and Brukaros, boast surface and undersurface or water attacking capability. The boats also have air targets and land within reach from the sea. Navy officers received five months training to man the ships with assistance from Chinese technical experts. An all weather friend, China will continue to assist Namibia with whatever we would and make new contributions to the traditional friendship between our two countries. Daure's ship will be commanded by Lieutenant Commander Clemens Tuli Kashupulwa and Lieutenant Commander Nangombe Johannes will be in charge of the Brukaros Navy ship.